All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome to this completely unplanned video about uh, this new setup that you're looking at. Please let me know what you think about this new setup you're looking at right now. I'm trying to find a way to get a dedicated space for recording in the house. And I've been recording in the living room for as long as I can remember, even in the previous uh, place we used to live. And when we moved here, I've uh, worked on getting my studio to be much more professional where I'm recording right now. It's where I also edit my videos. You can look at my back. You see my uh, screen, my machines or my laptop and the sound monitors as well. So this is where I record my voiceovers. I'm a professional voice voiceover artist. So this is where I do my recordings. And um, a couple of hours ago, a friend of mine came by and when he left, we we're talking about YouTube setups and all those things. When he left, eh, you know, boys get bored and they feel, eh, or artists get bored and they feel like, yeah, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? And this is what I ended up coming up with. I wanted to set up this and see how it looks like because I'm wondering how the videos will sound like, especially with the treater space where I am right now, which is quite better in terms of sound quality or aiding sound quality than the living room I record in. So I've taken about an hour and a half to come up with this particular look that you're seeing right now, um, placing things, removing them, even changing the background of the um, computer to this particular background to, you know, make it aesthetically pleasing, um, bringing out lights I haven't used in a very long time and putting gels in front of them like I used to do to get this teal color and putting my lamp on my right to get this orange yellowish color just to have a great you know blend and it's also serving as my rim light and hair light if you can see so that is also cool on the back or on the left there right is right yeah so this is um a setup trial i'm gonna break down um of course what i've used so far um I seldom shoot without a grid on my softbox and tonight I'm doing that because I didn't want the light to spill so much more focused on me so that I can have um, the room to decorate the back without the light you know influencing how it will work there so I put a grid on my softbox and the light is on about 45% because it's quite close to me at the moment at a 45 degree angle, which is um, really cool because then it falls on one side of your face and gives a shadow on one side with a Rembrandt um, style, if you've heard of it before, it's a Rembrandt lighting. And it gives it much more dimension when you light your videos that way. So I'm using my Godox SLW60, um, my 120 centimeter parabolic, deep parabolic um, softbox, and then I put a grid in front of it. Um, my microphone is literally right here in front of me. It's about, uh, yeah, six to eight inches away from my mouth. Um, I have my Zoom H4n Pro literally beside me on something here. So I can monitor if my sound is actually recording. And um, yeah, I'm recording on my Canon EOS RP with the fuel world monitor so that I can be able to see myself and what I'm doing. So this is this um, random video on the new setup I decided to try. And I'm not gonna keep long here. Just let me know in the comment section below what you think about this new setup. If it's cozy, if it's nice, if it's you know something you dig. And perhaps maybe another time I'll do a full breakdown. I was actually thinking of something else before this happened because I wanted to get a background for this space where I can design the background using a seamless, um, a seamless backdrop and redesigning the space. But after trying this, I don't know if I should do the seamless backdrop again. You let me know as well uh, because I had some ideas and you know I wanted to make some new purchases so that I can make this place a much more permanent recording space. And maybe I'll also make a video about how deliberate you need to be with your production setup, if that should call it that way, because it takes a lot of effort to get a certain look and people often underestimate how long it takes to get a certain style, a certain look or a certain level of quality of look, especially for sit down 
or talking head videos. So yeah, that's what I've been up to um, this evening. And I think this video is already long enough. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed this um, random video. And let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do a breakdown of the setup properly. I mean, showing all the elements that are going on and why and all that. So that, yeah, you can get a better understanding of how these setups work. Yeah, so that's it for me. In the meantime, if you are having any more questions, put them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do that. I'm rambling, I'm rambling, and I'm out.